Hey, welcome back. It's 1 Samuel chapter 25, and uh, we're carrying over into verses 11 through 13 today. Uh, David has made a very gracious, it's a time of year when Nabal is a very rich guy. He's going to shear his sheep, and they're going to have big parties. David's guys are in the wilderness. They've been protecting Nabal. And David kind of takes an initiative here, and he says, hey, maybe we could come down, and, and we could all kind of fellowship together. After all, I've been doing some good things for you. Uh, and so now we're going to get the response of Nabal. And here's Nabal's response, verse 9. So when David's young men came, they spoke to Nabal according to all these words in the name of David and waited. Then, verse 10, then Nabal answered David's servants and said, Who is David? And who is the son of Jesse? There are many servants nowadays who break away each one from his master. Shall I then take my bread and my water and my meat, and I have killed for my shearers, and give it to men when I do not know where they are from? So David's young men turned on their heels and went back, and they came and told him all these words. Then David said to his men, Every man gird on his sword. So every man girded on his sword, and David also girded on his sword. And about 400 men went with David, and 200 stayed with the supplies. So we're going to pause there. Well, look what's going on. Uh, Nabal turns around and just just openly insults David, totally insulting him, totally narcissistic and self-centered. My goods, my stuff. Did you hear that? There are many servants who break away. Yeah, but David's the one that's been protecting his stuff. Now, admittedly, he didn't hire David, so he's not really under obligation to give David anything. Fair enough. That's true. But now he doesn't. Why is he insulting David? And again, look at this spirit. Shall I take well, verse 11? My bread and my water and my meat that I have killed for my shearers and give it to men who I do not, do not know where they're from. This is a very self-serving spirit. I'm going to keep my stuff. You guys don't get any. It's mine. You know, you kind of hear kind of a whiny tone going on here. So they go back to David and look at David's response. Now, David's response isn't very good. David uh, takes the insult. He recognizes he's, he and his men have all been insulted. And they're ga gathering up their swords and... Uh, 400 guys are going to go up there now, and they might not be uh, quite as gentle and jovial as they might have been if they'd been invited to the feast. So, yeah, there is big trouble brewing, murderous trouble. David is angry, and right now things are not right. But we'll watch and see, because help's going to come from another, another direction, and David will be glad for it. Sometimes we don't need to answer so harshly. Nabal answered harshly. Sometimes we don't need to take offense. David didn't need to take offense. He could have said, well, this man's insulted me. Oh, well, we won't guard his sheep anymore. But yeah, now he's coming He's coming with swords. This is, this is getting pretty rough. So David's not right. Nabal's not right. The men aren't right. Things aren't right. But we're going to see tomorrow and begin to see God is going to bring, bring something hopeful and good from an unexpected direction. Let's, let's look at it tomorrow morning. In the meantime, uh, again, for us, Sometimes we're reacting wrongly. We could just let things go and let trust in God and, and let God take care of it. But here David is ready to take things into his own hands. So this is getting pretty, pretty nasty. But let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we are inclined perhaps to react as David. Oh, you've insulted me? Here I come with 400 guys in sharp, uh, sharp blades. Help us, Lord, to be able to be in your service, to receive your help and wisdom, to be to be able to serve you and to seek to be in harmony with our fellow man. Help us sometimes, help us when we've been insulted, Lord, to let you take that insult away. In the meantime, we can we can find other ways to do other paths than to strap on the swords. But anyway, Lord, we pray that you will learn lessons from this as this story develops morning by morning. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you that you're going to bring help, even from another direction than anybody realizes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is an agent of peace, and she's coming. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow morning. Hey, God be with you.